So yo, check it. Mr. John Campia. We salute you. You were gone. You were gone. And the famous words of Jim Carrey. La who is I heard. What goes around comes around. Justin Timberlake. Yeah, you know that song. Well, Mr. Campia has left Collider video for the second time. Now you gotta think, left AMC, left Collider once, came back, left Collider again. This is three different times he's resigned, resigned from a uh, company or business or internet website, whatever you wanna call it. This is three times. Now, Mr. Campio, tell me, is, is it maybe you and not, and not the company? Like, this is what I think you are right here, a crook. Now, you put a lot of people on. You put John Schnapp on. Thank you. He's so much better than you. But you can even see in Heroes the way you're just, like, all about... <laughs> <laughs> like wanting to be the different person to hate like on Gal Gadot <coughs> excuse me you want to hate on Gal Gadot you finally kind of gave her credit you had to eat crow though you had to eat crow you're so quick to point out when you're right you'll even show video clips of when you were right or when you said something right about something that eventually happens in the future so you you you're very oh, like you you like validation you like validation. Now they didn't give you a very sincere sign off. Mark Ellis very eloquently put, uh, you may have heard, you may have not heard that John Campia is no longer with us. He has resigned. We wish him the best. No Christian Harloff saying, "Miss you, John. We're gonna love you." No Jeremy John saying, John, we love you, buddy. Nothing. Just a little quick promo at the beginning. And that was, I mean, not promo, but a quick little bit at the at the beginning. And that was it. Like, the guy that's been there for years among years started the Collider movie talk. Brought everybody from the Collider, uh, the AMC people, to Collider. As just now it's just like he's no longer with us see you later business as usual well you piss some people off I'm guessing uh, word is when I can I speculate like John Campion does not like to do even though he knows the guy that knows the guy that Ben Affleck wants out but take that with a grain of salt uh, but no so I'm thinking John Campion didn't have the power that he normally has and that he's used to. I believe that Schmo's the Schmo Schmodown is pretty much Collider's biggest sell right now over movie talk. And basically they're giving Christian Harloff a little bit more leeway than than Campia, you know, would like. Uh, when Campia left, Christian Harloff moved up in the stakes. How that transferred when he came back, I'm not sure. But then he developed the Schmodown, which has become a huge success. So Harloff is probably getting a lot of power at this point. And that's why I feel like there wasn't much remorse, really, when Mark said, na 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 na, hey hey hey, goodbye, Campia. And you know he's taking two weeks off for his friend, uh, you know, and 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 I even wished him, you know, said, you know, I I feel I've been there. I I I'm, I know you're hurting right now, Mr. Campia. I hope you're doing well. This is before I even knew that he was not coming back. So he took his two weeks off, and therefore he doesn't have to even come back to Collider because he do a two weeks resignation, and which is real convenient. But yeah, he had been criticized for putting out podcasts and videos, uh, but doing relaunching his podcast on iTunes or whatnot, uh, different variations of podcast uh, companies, and he has. Uh, also been doing vlogs on his YouTube video vlogs so it's like yeah you're mourning your friend's death but yet you still are working in a way you know what I mean so obviously that should have been a telltale sign there um, 
but this was definitely something that came out in it and he hasn't been a happy at Collider for a long time that's kind of throwing some people under the bus a little bit uh, whether it's he's not happy because of Christian's role may be higher than his now at this point uh, or whatever it may be like you know, you've been putting on this, uh, and that's his job to put on this facade that he's everything's fine and dandy. But all of a sudden, it's just weird that I haven't been happy at Collider, and I'm putting my two weeks in. I think it's an ego thing. He's a very egotistical person. I mean, it is what it is. He, he thinks you know he knows it all, and what he says is right. But yet he'll always say, "Well, we all have to have different opinions. That's what makes us great." But yet he doesn't say, "My opinion's right." I which is really what he is thinking. So John Campy has gone for Collider, and I say for the better. Um, I enjoy John Campy's view. Like I do enjoy seeing him on movie talk. Like I always like the asshole persona, the guy that's going to disagree with everybody. But then, like he won't disagree with certain things where he's just totally outnumbered, and it's kind of okay to he's he'll like it. Um, but he, like, if certain stuff is divisive, even if the majority is this, if it's divisive, he'll go, okay, I don't like it, because at least he has a look, a few people backing him up. It's Man of Steel. Uh, but, uh, which I do think is a great movie, um, but it could have been better, um, as long, as all the DC movies, uh, with the exception of Wonder Woman. Anyway, John Kempy, man, good luck to you. You know, AMC's not going to take you back. Collider's not going to take you back. You you might have the uh, stigma or the of uh, being difficult to work with. And that might be hard. Just like in Hollywood, if a director or an actor is hard to work with, it's hard to get work. So you may have to go back to your movie blog days, which you somehow mentioned that that was the happiest you've ever been in your career. So, um... You know, it looks like you, I'm not saying you're blacklisted, but you, you, word gets around, man. And so, uh, good luck to you, but I have to say, you are kind of a shit, man. You're kind of a shithead. You make valid points, you are professional when it comes to, to doing what you do, but you can also just be a complete dickhead. And I'm not just saying that because your opinion of movies, it's just the way you, you, uh, behave. So anyway, sayonara to John Campia. What goes around comes around. Maybe you should think more uh, before you talk. Or maybe you should not get this huge head of yours. I don't I don't know, man. You, you definitely have some issues going on. Like I said, this is like the third time that you've left or resigned or done something with a bet. So maybe it's not them. Maybe it is you, John Campia. Sayonara. See you later.